but we can show a few clips on what you guys should expect out of Honeycomb. So from a hardware perspective, we're looking at the NVIDIA Tegra 2 chipset in here. It's a dual core processor. There's one gig of RAM inside, and there's a 32 gigs of storage for memory. Um, and it's also expandable to 32 um, via the SD slot up top. Uh, the SD slot also serves the purpose of the LTE chip. Um, so at launch, the tablet will only be 3G. Um, and we're looking with Verizon and trying to finalize how we're going to do the shipping of the tablets and what have you. Um, but we'll pop the SD, uh, the SIM card in there and it's, it's ready for LTE. So, uh, there are no buttons up front, everything's on board. Um, you have your volume button here, three and a half millimeter head jack. Your connectors are underneath. So for the charging, we have a barrel port here. Um, and the reason for that, the milli of the battery, uh, milliamps on the battery is, is fairly high. Um, you get about eight hours of usage on the tablet, continuous usage. So that's the reason why we had to change that from a, a regular standard USB that we're used to. Um, you have your micro uh, HDMI, and then your USB for any type of other uh, printers and things like that, or PC. So I'll take you through what has changed. Um, everyone's trying to understand what has changed from Honeycomb 3.0 and, and what's out there now, which is 2.2. Um, we'll take you over through the browser. So you're going to get 10.1 full flash support from Adobe, of course, and you're going to be able to stream anything pretty much. No questions on Hulu yet. We're still waiting, but we'll see. Um, and you also have tab browsing, which you're normally used to on your PC at home, right? So, in turn, what we're trying to do with 3.0 is we're, we're trying to give you more of a PC-like experience and not just trying to stick a phone with the largest screen in this thing, right? So, tab browsing. So, go, going into cloud computing now, and you'll see it here in a little bit. Anything that you bookmark at home, uh, whether it's book, bookmarks, what have you, you can send over uh, via cloud and it will sync automatically to your tablet as well. So and you can add bookmarks and things like that. So, Screen um, is a 10.1, right? It, it is HD quality. It's a 16 by 9 ratio. Uh, the resolution on it is 1280 by 800. Uh, this is full HD on here. Uh, there's, you can tell there's no letterbox on here. Um, another thing that we've done with the tablet, it's, it's actually um, about an inch narrower than most of our competitors, uh, making it really, really easy for uh, portrait style typing and you don't have to reach over so hard with your thumbs. So. And we were still able to manage, you know, pulling in a 10.1 inch screen on there. So. And this shows great, of course, the NVIDIA processor in there, right? Okay, so another thing that changed with Honeycomb was your Google Maps, and I'm sure you guys have seen that on some of your mobile devices now that we're able to update it right. So they're now using vector-based software on there, um, which gives you 3D rendering. Uh, not only that, but it loads a lot quicker. Um, also in turn, it comes kind of into play with the maps. There is a barometer in the tablet as well. So it measures pressure. It doesn't matter where you're at in a building. So if we're using latitude or anything like that, I can pretty much locate where you're at. Um, given the pressure change, the tablet actually picks that up if we're on a weak signal or anything like that. So. And of course, this is Street View, which I'm sure you guys are all used to. And the weight, by the way, it's about a pound and a half on the uh, tablet here. Uh, YouTube has also changed as well. They're using a three-dimensional UI. YouTube. Other than that, everything pretty much stays the same with that. Uh, but I think they did a really good job in kind of switching that up a little bit. And those are scrollable widgets, by the way. So if you have books, pictures, anything like that, you can access that from the front panel. So this is the only like, not the honeycomb. Uh, no, that was honeycomb. And another thing that we also changed with uh, 3.0 is your Gmail. So we're normally used to a, uh, a mobile experience, right? You see everything in one view, kind of makes it a little bit cluttered. Um, on here, 
Um, we kind of give you what you expect on your PC, you know, going back to what 3.0 is. So you get your inbox on the right, and then you get the body of the email. It will open every single attachment, no demand, um, as of now. How do you move from one app to another? Um, similar to what you're used to on your Android devices now, uh, same thing. Um, we have another uh, what we call phone view on here, um, where you, you basically as far as placing widgets and things like that, um, you kind of get a three-dimensional um, UI up top, and it shows you all five home screens. You can basically drag all your widgets and apps on there. Once you're done, you back out of that, and everything's on there. So as opposed to your Android devices now, where you have to scroll to that page, hold, and things like that. So again, that's how 3.0 is, is so much different than what you guys are used to on mobile. So. Will there be a Wi-Fi only version, or is it yeah, yeah, Wi-Fi yeah. and 3G yeah. standard? Uh, it will be Wi-Fi and, uh, and 3G as well. Yeah. And it's, of course, only Verizon. It is a Verizon. Yeah, right. so. What is small you say? You said first quarter. It's going to be. Yeah, we're looking to force. Uh, first sometime quarter. in the next sometime couple in months. first quarter. Uh, what you're seeing here is video chat via G Talk as well now. Uh, another thing that we've implemented with 3.0 is you're going to be able to uh, go into video chat as well. And it's almost it's almost instant when we tested it out. I mean, it's it's, it's really they, good. What are they going to sell for? Do you have any idea? Uh, no, we still unfortunately don't have any pricing. Okay. Beautiful. Thanks a lot. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, we don't know yet. Uh, we don't know anything as far as like subsidizing the device or anything like that. We, we still don't know. Das haben wir uns mitgebracht. Zoom Tablet, ich bin bei der Schrafe. Level 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ja, ja. 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 Ja, ja